Hi, my name is Sofia Sadmari. I'm a PhD student here at Copenhagen University at the Department of Food Science. Today, I would like to take a few minutes to introduce you to this piece of equipment that we have under our research with Food Hay. Food Hay is the Food and Health Open Laboratory and it's a Danish initiative that's funded by the Ministry of Education and Science. The equipment here is called the Nano Insider and it's a small angle X-ray scattering machine. It is able to analyze a variety of different samples, liquids, solids, pastes, emulsions, gels and so on. It is very sensitive. It can map structures at a nanoscale in the scales of 1 to 200 nanometers. It is built up by three parts. Here at the bottom is where X-rays are generated. Through the collimation, the X-rays are fine-tuned and introduced here at the sample stage. This is where they meet the sample and they scatter. The scattered pattern of X-rays is detected by two different detectors, a wide angle scattering detector that's located right here and the small angle scattering detector that's located on top of the equipment. The blue line alongside of the equipment shows the way that the X-rays travel. Over here, I would like to show you how I introduce a sample to the equipment. Now, there is air inside the sample chamber. It is important to note that we usually work in vacuum. Vacuum is important because that way we can minimize the interactions from the environment. So we always evacuate the chamber before starting a measurement. To load the samples, we have different kind of sample holders that are most beneficial for the different samples. Solid samples are loaded in these small metal discs. In the middle, you can see a window where we place a single time use material that's practically invisible for x-rays, such as mica or captone. Once the sample is loaded, we open the sample stage and we place the sample in the middle as such. Making sure that the detector window is open, now we're ready to close the door, induce vacuum and start our measurements. In case of liquid samples, we use these glass capillaries for loading. As you can see, these capillaries are very thin, wall, glass. Up to 200 microliters of samples can be loaded in here. And after loading, they are placed in the special sample holder that is then inserted in the sample stage before the beginning of the measurement. Now I would like to move on and show you the software that controls the equipment. This is the Nano Insider control software. It is very user-friendly for us to work with. Here at the first page, you can see where we began the machine control. We introduce the vacuum here, or we can vent the sample chamber, and once the vacuum reached the required pressure, we can begin the measurement. To start the measurement, it is important that we are working with the right parameters. Here we can fine-tune the system. We can choose at which exact position the X-rays shall hit the sample and we can monitor the progress in a live feed of the sample stage. Once we set up all the parameters and we choose where our data wants to be saved, we can actually begin the measurement and get an estimate of how long it will take. Once the measurements are finished, we end with a 2D center symmetric graph. This graph can very easily be translated to a 1D curve, such as here to the right. This curve shows the intensity of the X-rays versus the scattering vector, which is directly proportional to the angle of the scattered X-rays, just normalized by the wavelength. Over here, the red curve shows a liposome signal. This is just um, normal uh, food grade liposomes in water. What I was looking here to study is more information about the bilayer of the liposomes, the packing of the individual lipids in the liposomes, and information about the, liposome, the lipid head groups and tail groups. If you're interested in getting access to the equipment, gaining more information or collaborating with us, please contact us on the link below and we will get back to you shortly. Thank you for your attention today.